Okay, Mr. Rops, at, at you again. We're going to do the backwards kind of scenario, inverse normal probabilities, which when I have, when I'm dealing with normal probabilities, if I'm given some kind of a percent, so like 12%, and I want to change that to a number, I have to use inverse norm. Okay, if I'm given some number and I want to find the percent, then I use normal CDF. Okay? So in this case, Dr. Johnson believes that for the average number of years a person goes to school in the U.S. to reach 23 years, so I want the average to be 23 years, he believes that 12% of the people must have at least 28 years of schooling. That means, well, here's 28. That means this area here has to be 12%. That means the other area on this side is 88%. What's the standard deviation? He's assuming for the statement it makes sense. Well, in order to do it, I know my z-score is equal to my number, which is 28, minus the mean over the standard deviation. I'm looking for the standard deviation. If I can find z, I can calculate standard deviation. So I know this area is 88%. So I can use inverse norm to find z. So z will be the inverse norm of 0.88. The reason why I have to use this side is the calculator always goes from left to right. So if I go to my calculator, go second distributions, number three is my inverse norm, I want to go 0.88, enter. So the corresponding z-scores here, if this is my z-score of zero, this now is 1.175. So my z-score for this problem is 1.175. I plug that in for z, 1.175 equals 28 minus 23 is 5 over the standard deviation. If I solve this for standard deviation now, equals I'm going to divide both sides by 1.75. I can't do that in my head, so I'm going to go 5 divide 1.175. And my standard deviation will be 4.26. So here's an example of being given a percentage to find your z score to find what you're looking for.